Well, look at this, guys. Isn't this incredible? We've got Tandy and her cub Tumba together on this fallen over tree. And isn't that absolutely beautiful, the two of them together? Now, I think they've got a carcass here somewhere, but they are posing perfectly on this fallen over tree for us. And it is the most beautiful sighting of the two of them. And it seems like the little cub is giving mom quite a bit of trouble. He keeps going up and wanting to play and she's not in the mood for it at all. Now I'm just going to try and reposition ourselves because it seems like we're not on the best side of where this all is. It will be a much better view from the other side I think. So we're going to just try and go around and just reposition. But isn't this spectacular? Now I'm so excited because this is the first time that I've seen little Tumba. Now I know that Tandy is a female that we see a lot of and I've seen her many times but every time I tried to come and see this little cub, unfortunately it would just disappear. So I have yet to have a good sighting of it which means that today is the first time and that is amazing so I'm super super happy about it and I'm really 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 excited to see him he is an absolutely beautiful male his ears are massive he's got those sort of big eyes his typical Tundi offspring he looks a lot like what Wubba Yiza looked like when he was a youngster so it's super cool to see this little one and he now completes my sort of lineage for Tandi because I had seen Kuchava before and now it was just little Tumba that I hadn't seen. So I'm just trying to get around here. It's not in the most friendly of places. You can see it's very thick and the grass is very long. So hopefully they stay on top of their little fallen over tree because if they don't, it's going to be very difficult to see them. Now they should be just around this corner hopefully. That's the theory anyway. No, don't say you've come down. Have both of you come down? It looks like they've come down from their tree. Oh no, there he is. You can just see the little ears sticking up out of the tree itself. So I'm just going to go in here, which should be perfect. But I think they've got a kill here. So the guys tell me that there is a kill somewhere here. I haven't seen it anywhere, but I believe there is a kill in this area somewhere. I'm hoping that we don't disturb Tandy because I can't see where she's gone. There's little Tumba just poking his head over the branches looking at us. Look at him. Isn't he pretty? And look at the size of those ears. They are absolutely massive. But like I say, it's quite typical for Tandy's offspring. All of her young males that I've seen have all had these massive ears like this and big, big eyes. They really are quite cute when they're this age. Hello, my boy. Tundi must be below him there, somewhere in the long grass that he's busy watching. Isn't that interesting? He's busy actually sniffing where she was kind of lying down. And I think she, he can pick up the scent of her. And he was Fleming grimacing. So he was actually kind of scenting her and working out if it's mom and what her sort of chemical signature is. But isn't that beautiful with him in amongst that green foliage? It's just the picture of summer. It's also kind of the camouflage of a leopard in amongst the foliage. It's just something unbelievable. So we didn't get Tingana, but to get the two of them together is really very, very special. Unfortunately, it's just hiding behind a tree, and it's quite difficult to actually get any sort of way further forward. It's very, very dense and thick here, and we've got a big termite mound that's in front of us, so I can't go any further forward than where we are now. But I'm hoping that... He might come out a little bit and just lie a little bit further out. Um, given that it is getting a little bit hot, I suppose he's found himself a really good place to lie there because it's creating a bit of shade on that branch. So it's a perfect place for him just to spend a bit of time this morning. You can see that he is panting quite heavily and that's all because of the food that he's already eaten. So his metabolic rate um, well, heat is rising because of the amount of digestion that he's having to do of this protein-rich food source that he's had. It means that he has to start breathing a little bit faster to be able to get rid of it. There we go. There's the screenshot for those of you that like screenshots. And he just looks over that branch, I mean, over that greenery like that. It's absolutely beautiful. Hello, boy. What are you doing? Look at the size of that tummy. It's absolutely swollen. So wherever this food is, it must be somewhere close by. He's had a good feed. Now he's firmly planted his head inside a little bush. Isn't that amazing? 
What are you doing? That can't be comfortable at all. I suppose, though. He's flopped the leg down now. I suppose that's him. He's decided this is where I'm going to be most comfortable. So I believe a lot of you are excited as I am to see little Tumba and Tundi together. And so if you guys have any questions about the two of them or would like to know anything just about leopards in general, remember you can use the hashtag Safari Live and we'll try and answer as many as we can. Now, I'm surprised at how big he is already. Like I said, I haven't seen him ever, even though he's been around for about nine months now. Every time I used to come here to try and see the little ones, they would cross into Torchwood or would go into an area that I couldn't follow. And it was quite frustrating, but I've finally gotten to catch up with him. And I think he's going to be a rather big boy when he gets a little bit older. I don't know if he's going to be the same size as Hosanna. Hosanna seems to be a brute, but he is going to be rather large. He's got massive, massive paws already and big, strong forelegs. And you could see when he was standing next to Tundi for that brief period of time was that she's actually about the same size as he is already. And he's only now about nine months, nine, ten months old. So he's a massive individual as well. He's going to be a very, very large boy. Now we think that his... So Mr. Bean's teddy bear, you're wondering if these leopards are related to the royal family. Well, indeed they are. So Tundi, who is the mother of Tumba, this little male that we're watching now, is Karula's, one of Karula's first litters. So it was her and Shadow that were born together in, Tund in Karula's first litter that she had and raised successfully. So they are the first generation. And so they now are about 11 years old and... Tundi has had quite a few cubs. Her first cub that she had that she raised was Wabba Yiza, who unfortunately was killed by the sticks. And then I think she had a litter of two, which was killed. And then she got another litter, which was Kachava, which is a young female we see on Cheetah Plains every now and then. And then she's got now Tumba, which is this boy that we're seeing here. So there were two of them to start off with. Unfortunately, one was killed at about, I think it was about five months old when it was killed. So we're not sure what killed it, but there was another one. But this little guy has done super well, and he's now a big boy, and he's... I don't think he can really work out where he actually wants to be. But look at the size of his paws now that they're out in the open. If we go down to his paws, you'll be able to see the size of them. If we go down to the paws, to the feet, Senzo. There we go, thank you. Look at the size of them. Absolutely massive. So he's got big, big feet already, and he's still going to have to grow into them. You are a beautiful boy, that's for sure. Massive individual. And those are only going to get bigger. You can see they're very, very bulky already. It's very nice. It's Often you look at a leopard's paws, and you can kind of work out a little bit how big they're going to be later in life, because the bigger they are when they're younger, the more they're going to grow into them. And so you really will sort of see the size that he's going to be. And he's actually already got a little dewlap developing. He's going to be much like Tingana in that respect. So Tingana's got a massive dewlap, even though he's, even when he was younger, when he was sort of six, seven years old, Tingana had this huge dewlap. And I think Tumba's going to have the same story. Uh, we do think that Tingana is the father of Tumba, but we can't be 100% sure. And there's also quarantine around in this area. Um, there's Shavambalan. Vula has been around, so it's difficult to say exactly who, but isn't he pretty? Look at those eyes and those ears. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very special little cat. I don't know where Tundi's disappeared to. She was up the tree until we went around, and she's flopped down. I think she's probably lying in the grass below this fallen over tree or the broken tree, um, and she's probably just resting in the shade there. She can be a little bit temperamental when she wants to be, so we won't push her. So, Carly, you're wondering who names the leopards. Well, the leopard names generally come from a sort of census amongst the head rangers in this area. So all the rangers that are working, they will kind of think about a name. And generally, we try and apply a name to the animal, well, give the, the chance to the lodge where the animal is born. So in this case, 
Tambo was named by the Chitwa Chitwa guides because he was actually born under one of the decks of the rooms at Chitwa Chitwa. And so they get kind of first priority and then it goes into this sort of meeting and everybody just has a, a sort of a, a hear of what the name is and if it's not really applicable then they go back to the drawing board and get another one. But that's generally how we do it. So it's where the animal is born and it's how we try and get them. Now I'm going to just try and go forward a little bit because there's actually quite a nice gap. But I just know how far we can go right so while we try and find our little position here let's go back to Ali who I believe has got a wildebeest which is something that this young male will be able to hunt at later stage <laughs> 